it's I'm just so enamored by this whole colossal de extinction thing, you know, the thylacine, yeah. the woolly mammoth. And like oh yeah. I, I, I messaged Joe on it early before going on the show. And then halfway through the show, like, you know, I'd sort of like we were just chatting away like we do on this. And I was like, dude, I gotta talk to you about this thing. Cause I just like I can't believe it. And it's like it's so cool to get his perspective on it because he's certainly not a layman right he's very very well educated um mm. or or at least very well versed in a variety of topics from all of his podcast guests so it was cool to hear somebody else like be like well is this good is this bad like why does how does this work and i i, I just think that was really fun for me to just i just i'm enamored by this thing this de extinction yeah. thing like i can't believe it like i, I sometimes i just it's like crazy pinch myself and i'm like no this is actually happening which to me is insane yeah, listen, we fucked it up as humans, and now we're going to try and bring it back, but we're probably going to fuck it up even more. Something will happen. There's no question that there will <laughs> Something's be... Something's definitely going to happen. There's no question that there will be some <laughs> unforeseen consequences. There always, always are. What those are could be massively impactful and good, or yeah. they could be bad. Or And I'm not talking about like the actual act of putting a mammoth in an environment. I'm talking about the fact that the science is going the way it's going, the world right. is changing, like, you know... We're not, and it's interesting because I went to Colossal literally the next day, and I was like, well, wait, can you, like, bring back a T-Rex? And they're like, no, after 600 million years, like, that DNA is so far degraded, we can't make that. You know, it's like, right. it's one thing to take a mammoth that's been gone for 10,000 10, years and put in and know that it has Indian elephants that are so closely related to it and fix those missing pieces with CRISPR. It's another thing to take super degraded DNA from 600 million years ago and try and build that back. And so, yeah. you know, I, I think back to the point being, what are those consequences? It's not like I think people hear me talking about it or whatever and like, oh, it's Jurassic Park. Like, we're all fucked. It's going to be dinosaurs. <laughs> That's not happening. You know, it's like it's a right. very slow like, hey, we can bring back things that have really close living relatives that we fucked up recently that are going to help the environment. But like, that's just the tip of the iceberg. Like, what comes next? 